It's reference to a civic duty sitting on a jury. WUFT's Nicolette Perdomo shows us how Alachua County jurors will now have the option to donate their compensation to a good cause. The Alachua County Clerk of Courts has been working for over six months to implement a juror donation program. I'm at Peaceful Pass right now, which is one of the organizations that will receive the donations. Teresa Beachy has worked at Peaceful Paths in Gainesville for almost two decades. She spent her time helping victims of domestic abuse. We're always excited to be able to increase services or increase um, the scope of what we're able to do with survivors. Most funds for the organization come from grants and fundraising, but that's going to change. The Alachua County Clerk of Court started a juror donation program. That'll give jurors the option of donating the money they earn for sitting on a jury to either Peaceful Paths or the region's Guardian Ad Litem Foundation. So we were very excited to hear about Mr. Irby's uh, Jura Donation Program and uh, extremely excited to be one of the selections for him to receive this from. Both of the programs kind of hit home to me um, as a former state prosecutor. Uh, one of my responsibilities was prosecuting domestic violence cases and so I got to see the difficulty and the complexities, and so I gained a great appreciation for the work that Peaceful Pass does. Alachua County jurors earned almost $50,000 for their time in 2017. Jurors not compensated by an employer received $15 a day for the first three days of service, and all jurors received $30 each day of service after the third day of jury duty. When you're summoned to jury duty, you'll be able to fill out this questionnaire, which allows you to donate your funds. If we even get half of what they're predicting um, uh, that would go between the two agencies, ourselves and Guardian Ad Litem, we're looking at you know a, a quarter of our uh, entire utilities and communications bill for the year. We're looking at potentially another part-time position. Beachy is optimistic this could mean more than 10 thousand more dollars for each organization per year. In Northwest Gainesville, Nicolette Perdomo, WUFT News.